In this video, we're going to talk about sections 12.2 and 12.4, uh, which deals with prisms uh, and their volume and surface area. So if you think about a, a prism, first there's a few uh, pictures of prisms. Uh, these are these 3D shapes where the each base is the same. So like this on this one, this triangle would be the base, and then there's a triangle on the other side that is the congruent to the triangle in the front. So there's two congruent bases, and they're connected with um, rectangles. And we're going to talk about right prisms. Uh, so surface area would be how much paint you would need if you're going to paint this whole uh, prism. So if I think of a block, if you're going to paint the block, that would be the surface area. And we're going to say that it is 2 times the capital B, which is the area of the base, plus the perimeter of the base, P, times the height of the prism. And the height is measured from base to base. So this height would be here. Uh, so you can think of if you were kind of to put that block up on its end, find the height. And, and that's how you find surface area. Two times the base of the area, or area of the base, plus the perimeter of the base times the height. And then volume is how much paint you would need to fill the prism. So if you were to just like pour paint into the prism until it was full like a paint can, um, then the volume would be the area of the base times the height. So let's uh, do a few problems here and try to do these on your own if you can. Uh, it says facts about the base of a right prism and the height of the prism are given. We want to sketch each prism and find surface area and volume. And we'll make sure we label our answers and then uh, show work when necessary. So your pictures don't have to be perfect, but I do want you to try to sketch these. Uh, so if I have a rectangle with a base of 10 meters and a height of 5 meters and my prism height is 12, I'm going to always draw my base facing uh, me. And so this is 10 and this is 5. And then my prism is going to go kind of off in the distance. So it's going to go away from me. And my prism height would be 12. And so to find the surface area, we do 2 times the base plus the perimeter times the height. 2 times the base area. So this base area is 10 times 5, which is 50. So B is equal to 50. The perimeter is the distance around. So that would be, let me get those switched. Ten plus five plus ten plus five, uh, which is thirty, and then H is twelve. That's the prism height, and so surface area is two times fifty plus the perimeter, which is thirty times H, which is twelve. And so my surface area would be 100 plus 360, which would be 460. And surface area is in always units squared, so that'd be meters squared. Volume is the area of the base times the height. So essentially what's happening here is we have this area on the bottom and then it's like you were just expand that out and you just continue to have that area all the way through the height until you get to the other end. So if you have that area 50 times the height 12 and the volume is 600. And volume is always in units cubed, so it's centimeters cubed. And essentially all these problems will be the same, they'll just have different bases, but they'll all work out the same way, we just will have to find the area of the base different ways. So with that said, try to do number two on your own. And let's look and see how you did. We'll first draw the prism, and I'm going to draw just a right triangle 
that looks like this for my base and it's facing me and so that's 5 and 12 and then the prism is going to go away from me and that would be 10 for the prism height so just looking at this base of this right triangle we can find the third side it's a Pythagorean triple uh, this is 13 or if you need to do a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared you can And so I guess 25 plus 144 is equal to c squared. So 169 is equal to c squared. And that's where 13 is equal to c. Um, I can find the area of the base by doing 1 half base times height. 1 half 5 times 12, which gives me 30. And there's no, let's say this is all in inches. We'll say inches, inches, and inches. Um, so this will be inches squared. And then to find the perimeter, we just add up the sides of the base. So 12 plus 5 plus 13. Gives me 30. And then we know the height of the prism is 10. So I can find the surface area to be 2 times capital B plus perimeter times height, which gives me 60 plus 300, or 360. Uh, we said it was inches, so it would be inches squared. Uh, and then my volume would be the base area times the height, which is 30 times 10, which is 300 inches cubed. Okay, two more and try to answer these on your own. Uh, once again, we'll draw the picture and we'll draw it so the base is facing us so we can see clearly what's going on there. Uh, we know the bases are 6 and 18 and the legs are 10 and then the prism height is 14. So to find the area of a trapezoid I need this height and so I can find that by taking a look if this is 6 and this is 18 then I have 12 left that needs to be split, so this would have to be 6 and 6. So 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. And that means this is 8. So that's a Pythagorean triple, or you can do the Pythagorean theorem to find that side is 8. And so now I can find capital B. Capital B would be 1 half times the height, which is 8, times the sum of the bases, which is 18 plus 6. And so that gives you a value of 96. And let's say this is inches still, just so we can put some units on it. Inches squared. And then P is the perimeter, uh, which would be 18 plus 10 plus 10 plus 6. which gives you 44 inches. And then surface area is 2 times the base area, which is 2 times 96, plus the perimeter, 44, times the height of the prism, and the height of the prism is 14. And so surface area is... 808 and it's inches squared area is always an in inches squared and then volume is the base area times the height so the base area is 96 times the height of prism height of 14 which gives you a volume 
of 1,344 inches cubed. And a cube with edges of 10 centimeters. So cubes, there's actually kind of a shortcut with cubes we can use for volume, which we'll talk about. Uh, but with cubes, we know all edges are the same. So we have 10, 10, and 10. And so the base area is just 10 times 10, or 10 squared, which is 100. And make sure you try to do this one on your own. Press pause and answer this question on your own before watching this uh, worked out. The perimeter would be 10 times 4, or 10 plus 10 plus 10, which would be 40. And my height would be 10. And so the surface area is 2 times 10 plus 40 times 10. 40 times 10, which gives you a surface area of 20 plus 400, which should be 420. And then the volume is the base area times the height, which is 100. And these are, we'll put the units on later, later. Uh, 100 times 10, or just 10 cubed is the volume of a cube, uh, which is 1,000. And we had centimeters on this, so we'll put in our units everywhere. This would be centimeters squared. Uh, this would be centimeters cubed. And then over here, we'd have centimeters, centimeters, and centimeters squared. Make sure you don't forget your units. So that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, make sure if you have questions, you ask. And good luck on working out the problems for this section.